In this video, we're going to learn about the straight dough mixing method. The straight dough method is used uh, for making yeast doughs. Uh, and it's uh, the most simple of the uh, yeast dough mixing methods. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, I've started by um, blooming my yeast in my water. My water was uh, about 100 degrees. We want that water to be between 90 and 100 degrees to bloom our yeast. Um, my yeast has, uh, has bloomed and I can see the little kind of clouds forming in the water, the little plop of the bubbles. So at this point, I'm going to take my flour and I'm gonna put it directly on top of my water and yeast. And then finally, I'm going to take my salt and put it right on top of my flour. I wanna make sure I use the correct attachment. I'm going to use the dough hook. We're going to use this attachment when we're trying to develop gluten. So when we're making things like uh, pasta doughs and uh, yeast doughs, uh, we're gonna use our dough hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mixer set up here. So I'm gonna mix at two different speeds. I'm gonna mix at my first speed until I have my dough ball formed. Then I'm gonna crank up the, the intensity of the mixing a little bit uh, and mix until the gluten is fully formed. You're gonna to want to consult the formula that you're following uh, for proper mixing times uh, for your particular uh, formula. So we'll start on our first speed, nice and low, till we have that dough ball formed. So this formula is going to mix for about four minutes at the first speed before we uh, go up to our, our second mixing speed. So uh, once we're there, we'll check back in with you. All right, so it's been about four minutes. Uh, we've completed our, our first mixing. You can see that dough ball uh, is nice and together. Um, so the next step in our uh, uh, straight dough method is we're gonna mix at our second uh, speed. So the amount of time is going to depend uh, on the formula that you're using uh, for the amount of time it's going to take to develop that gluten. Um, instead of just the very slow initial mix, we would do it on about a medium speed uh, to help with that gluten. So for this formula, uh, we would go ahead and mix on our second speed for about 10 to 12 minutes and allow that gluten to develop. And you can see that was the speed I would be using. You can see how much faster that was uh, than our first. So let's review. When using active dry or fresh yeast, you'll start by blooming the yeast in the water. If you're using instant yeast, you can mix the yeast right in with the flour and skip that step of blooming the yeast. Next, make sure that your water is between 90 and 100 degrees to ensure that the yeast activates properly. Lastly, make sure you're using the correct attachment with your mixer. When we're making yeast doughs and trying to develop gluten, we're gonna to wanna to use a dough hook. 